Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And in the last episode, guys, we were able to go through a very strange tunnel guarded by goblins to get over to the coastline, the area we hadn't explored yet. And we went through, um, basically climbed up an entire mountain to find ourselves a phoenix. And the phoenix is now safe here in the Room of Requirement. We got a new area of the Vivarium set up and some closure for Deke, too, which I greatly appreciate. However, entrance to this place will not do. So we need to go ahead and change this up a little bit. Gothic walls, please. And change this up. I like it. Like extended window. All this was just kind of all randomly put together. Thick wall. Gothic balcony, we're fine there. Same over here. Then I think we're in good shape. Change that area. This over here, too. Yes. The floor, I was meaning. Got rid of that rug. Don't really have any opinions on that rug. Got the frog choir stand. We need to put that at the swamp entrance. Um... Okay, with a rug being there. Yeah, that's fine. We'll change up all the furniture color later. There we are. Ooh. That area too. Yeah, all right, and look how nice the room of requirement looks. Very spiffy. In we go. Ooh. There's our phoenix. Friend, we need to get you a a partner. We'll get you. We'll get you some friends right now. There y'all are. And let's build you some proper pet care. Oh, I like the music in here. Toys, and forget toys. Then what else? Nice billywig hive, maybe near the water. We also need to see what else we can find here, because there's definitely going to be some uh, chime. We want to put the chime. We definitely got to explore. All the chime can't be set up here. Oh. Looked like it could, very briefly. Not inside playable space. Well, put it right there next to the entrance of the castle. Let's see. Revelio. Confringo. Got spider webs, that won't do.
weapons. A wall. We hear you like castles, so we're going to have you explore a castle, find pieces to another castle. I mean, I do like it. Where would I go find an another, like, phoenix habitat? Ooh, this music reminds me of Braid. Okay, we got our Moonstone deposit over there. Got another chest. Normally, like, three in each one. Him raised floor. Looks like there's a path down there. Entrance. Oh, it's a freaking um, a borrow. Revelio. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Now, is there anything I get here? And I guess the Billywigs just kind of do their thing. I don't think there's an item necessarily I have to get. Assume this is going to lead us down below. indeed. I'd like it if all the areas were connected. Like, if you look down, you saw the other habitat. Like the grassland in the forest. Alright. Looking good, friendos. Now, I think it's time we got ourselves a kitten. Right? Because if we look over here, we got... Measel, Measel, the Niffler offspring. Um, let's, I do need some Measel. Switch over to brushies. The other kitty's at. Hello! I was like, of course, cat's gonna take its time being appeased. The reason I need that is because until we find a phoenix, there you go. Oh, ding! Oh, that's literally a place a cat would. Yeah, I like it. We will see what we can do about getting you a kitty. And we got a new mission? I guess that might be for Sebastian in the Great Hall. Um... Completed Legendary Masquerade Mask. Cool. Talents. Talents, please. I got everything done I wanted in the Room of Requirement. I have got four... Six, seven, eight, nine. I got five more points to use. And we're gonna. Make our Wigan Weld potions a little bit more potent. You guys, good. These are doing their things. Oh, favorite toy of graph horns and hippogriffs. Huh. I like it. We'll check and see if there's anything here on the borrow. Revelio. There's another path to go. Nope. Cool. Well, now I want to check the map and see... What do we have going on over here? Great Hall. Grief and Vengeance. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. This winter has been long and arduous. 
see if there is a zoom. Niffler Den versus. Okay, no Phoenix area as of yet. So you are king of the roost for right now. I think the thing with Sebastian is going to be pretty big. So let's just travel to the Great Hall and talk to Nat. Got two things going for Sebastian right now. Rebellion. Where are you at? Hanging out near the fireplace. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. Oh. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. Eh. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way, but that does not mean that she likes it. Completely understands her protectiveness. I wonder if it was due to the fact that it was muggles with firearms being involved is why she couldn't necessarily predict or see, foresee his death. Maybe it's only deaths and fates involved primarily in the wizarding world. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. Nat's really started to grow on me. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. 
truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. I still think like I Thank like you so again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. I think I still like Sebastian out of all the most out of all the friends that we've met just because of how multifaceted and dimensional he is. Natty's a little less dimensional, but her story and her personality are really good. Okay. Um and speaking of Sebastian, do you think it's can you go ahead and do that? And he's just hanging out. Let's go see him. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue power. Maybe he'll he'll apologize for his earlier goblin racism. It was uncalled for. Well, he did in his owl, but... Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. We just need to get Anne to the catacomb and work out how to make a dark sacrifice. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an Aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Well, we can always uh, make sure that Headmaster Black gets some fire whiskey in him. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well, from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Who would ever use dark magic against dark wizards? The, the scandal, the shame. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. Ooh, the Shadow of Hope. Okay. Well, not that done. Let's go, um... Let's go back in the room of requirement real quick. I need to identify something and then we'll sell off all of our stuff that we've got at pennies. Daedalus scarf. Well, now we need to upgrade. Oh, we got a lot of gear. Yes, we do. What that looks like. Eh. Okay. 
Daedalus Scarf. Ranged. Oh, I like that. With all the keys. That actually looks really spiffy. Hmm. I still want to have something, though, that shows shows off the Slytherin pride, so... Boom. Edware. Classic. Yeah, not a whole lot of options. Add that, the fringed one. Eh, you know, it looks a little weird on the back, but I'll do that one. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Thank you, Deke. Upgrade. Cooper Feather. And Phoenix Feather. We can go get all of our stuff upgraded over time. We just need to get some more Phoenix Feathers. Probably do that off camera. That is nice. Concentration. Cool. To Hogsmeade. Maybe we have a we have a little bit of time. We may want to go ahead and do a race. Gives us more opportunity to Oh no, we also have that other quest there too, though. Esters and Venom. It is wonderful to see you back here. Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Yep. Got tons of wonderful garments, Penny. And... Are you popping your jaw, Penny? I guess so. I do that too. So, no shame. Shame-free zone. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. Alright. So in terms of the world map, let's go... We have that got in the shadow of the mountain. What was that other one? Sky being the limit. Sent us... Oof. All the way down there. Eh, no. I think, it's, I think it would be best to do this. Just travel. Come on. Come on, map. Behave yourself now. See what this quest was. Dark in there. I guess it's gonna require us taking out this castle. Ooh, that is a crap ton of baddies. The okay, these are poachers. There's a big old poacher camp set up here. There we go. Oh, hi. Confringle. 
Well. Who's okay? You. You done? Just. All right. What was this? What's all this then? Henrietta's map. Uh, okay, we got ruins, a cave. Down below, it seems like. Frost. Going back between frost and... Huh. The location marked on the map isn't far from here. Hippogriff marks the spot, huh? Alright with this. Revelio. Need to go ahead and take out this camp while we're here, though. Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. Totalus. Go. Sarmin three. That fast travel. Oh, no, let's not get that fast travel. Where are you? Down below. <laughs> Got a boss. We should go pay a visit. Or we call it an episode. So, the hunt begins. Where others see darkness, I see bright opportunities. Okay, Executioner. I think I may have actually taken out the baddie. The big baddie. Mm-hmm. Doing good, doing good. Just let you burn. Easy peasy. Revelio. Confringo. Got a chest over there. Everyone's dead now. Including the big bad. See, where's that stone at? Where's the fast travel? Ah, hello. Goodness, not a party to attend by myself. Revelio. Daniel, we already went to this party. We had a lovely time. We did an RSVP, which was our bad, but. And he seems to be having a bad day. He... Rebellion. How do I get this? 
Oh, probably inside the, the proper wall. Grab some galleons there. Let me guess. This way. Aha! Navigator scarf. Cool deal. Well, we were able to get a little bit of info from both Nat and from Sebastian. We headed back over here and uh, took out a very pretty disgusting poacher fortress and got a map that we will go ahead and follow, guys, in the next episode. I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.